But why, why, a, why a gun? You call the gun the liberator. But what, what is the social purpose of making a gun from a 3D machine? Uh, I, I didn't define it first as social purpose. I, I defined it as political philosophy purpose. Um, basically, the idea is that I thought we could disintermediate the authorities which claim monopoly powers over, over arms, especially in the United States, but of course in the world. Um, and I thought that this could be done cheaply and easily, and I wanted to demonstrate that it could be done. Uh, and we did. Well, wait a minute. So you're saying to the arms industry, I can make guns cheaper than you. <laughs> and I, I mean, can do them faster. So we I, can kill a lot more people. <laughs> I, I think that that's not true, actually. But what is the point? The nature of this, this manufacturing techniques don't, don't outstrip uh, conventional mass manufacturing techniques and plastic processes and, and are inferior to metal manufacturing techniques and metallurgy. But um, as, a, as a way of evading a certain regulatory technique or regulatory apparatus, this evaded background checks, this evaded certain kind of laws about um, how you're going to get access to AR-15 parts. I mean, it was, the, it was like the, the silver bullet, if you will, uh, yeah. for some of these gun laws at a, a specific time that America was debating the next round of gun regulation. I get it. You put the design online for others to access. Is it true you downloaded more than 100,000 times in two days? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And unlike big publishers, we didn't download those ourselves. People all over the world downloaded that gun very quickly. The, the news was, was pretty big. Is it legal? Uh, strictly speaking, yes. Uh, it's legal to, legal to download in the United States, legal to make for yourself. The rest of the world, not so much. But um, yeah, we kind of got around the law. But the State Department took down the design files. Uh saying they violated federal laws about exporting munitions. That's right. They, well, they're, they're conducting an investigation to see whether they, that in fact happened. But the State Department's problem is not the guns themselves. The State Department's problem is the, the chain of authority related to the data. They think that uh, actors have to ask for their permission before they release this kind of data into the Internet. And, of course, that's plagued with constitutional problems from the First to the Second Amendment. So this is not uh, settled in the least. You think everyone should have the ability to have a gun, make a gun? Oh, yeah, yeah. I think I, I've, I've put my money where my mouth is on that as well. Watch new episodes of Larry King Now, Monday through Thursday, on demand on Hulu and Aura.tv.